Welcome back to my channel, y'all. Okay, so I took a break. I know I didn't post a video for like a week and that was because I was spending time just enjoying the holidays and also being in Hawaii. I went to Hawaii for an entire week on a couple's trip and y'all, it was such a dream. Good vibes, good vegan eats. Y'all, I really found some gems, okay? So let's get into the video. Y'all, after a long day of travel, we have finally made it to Hawaii. I'm so excited that we're here. So we're on a couple trip in Hawaii and we are here for like a week. Y'all, we have stuff planned every single day. Every single day. It's gonna be amazing. So we were invited on this trip by one of my really, really dear friends. Her name is Taylor and y'all, she went all out, like literally planned every day to a T. So we all got in on a Thursday, which was Thanksgiving. And because of that, not many restaurants were open. Ended up going to a place called Wailea Kitchen. Y'all, it was, it was okay. It was okay. I think I wanted to go back on another day, mainly because when we got in, they were only having like this Thanksgiving experience. And I know the restaurant has really great reviews and so I want to try some of the main menu items um, because this Thanksgiving experience wasn't my favorite but I was grateful to have found an option. Everything is 100% vegan. They had a roast, stuffing, like a vegetable mix, which is Brussels sprouts. I think it was kale, as well as green beans. And then they had mashed taro root with some gravy on top. Good morning. So it is Friday. I guess our first, well not I guess, but our first full day in Hawaii. And right now, Brandon and I, say hey babe. We are walking to go find some coffee. And then later, like the group is all supposed to get together, go to breakfast, do like a grocery store run and dinner. I think today like we're keeping it kind of chill because we have a jam packed week. Okay, a jam packed week. And one thing about the birds in Hawaii, they do not play. They will come chill at your table with you while you eat and eat off your plate as well. Like I was so shocked at how comfortable <laughs> they were. So I'll say hey y'all. It's about to go down. We're about to get some breakfast for the main <laughs> character <laughs> syndrome. <laughs> and so right after breakfast, we decided to run over to Costco to grab some items for the week, like snacks, drinks, all the good stuff. Yeah. Y'all, we are here practicing TikTok dances. <laughs> it feels like a workout. I'm tired. And while we were doing our TikTok dances, the guys went and picked us up Asiago's, and they were so delicious. Now listen, my friends were getting poke bowls left and right, but I could not find a place that had poke bowls with tofu. So what I decided to do is when they picked up their poke bowls, I actually got the rice and I got the seaweed salad and made some tofu at home. And that was my lunch. So I guess I had my own little poke bowl, okay? I did not feel left out at all. That wasn't very classy. I'm trying to be smooth. Make it look like I know what I'm doing. Don't fall. Dang it. You gotta keep okay. that okay. Let's start over. <laughs> okay, that works. All right, so we are about to head to dinner, but before dinner, we decided to come watch the sunset, y'all. It is so pretty. Now, when in Hawaii, you have to get shaved ice. So we kind of tried out several different places and ultimately ended up finding our favorite shaved ice restaurant. So I'll share that a little later in this video. We just drove to the top of a volcano, y'all. It was so scary, so oh scary. <laughs> Palm sweaty, knee Little palms oh, heavy. <laughs> but we made it. We came up here to see the sunrise. 
really excited. Oh my gosh. Let's go up. Okay, we're above the cloud. How you feeling, Tay? I feel it's surreal. I, I know. Incredible. Up here. Oh my gosh, y'all. It is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. This is amazing. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> This is so beautiful, but it's like so cold. And it's so cold. It's so cold. So we had to dress like super, super warm. We left the um, the hotel at like 3 a.m., which y'all saw, and drove up here. Like I'm not a driver, so I didn't necessarily do the driving, but it was like an hour and a half drive. I was asleep. <laughs> yeah, he was asleep, so he, yeah, he don't know. But this was an amazing experience. It has been so beautiful. And because we woke up so early this morning, we didn't really get a chance to eat breakfast. So we really just kind of grabbed some snacks, but right after watching the sunrise, we headed over to grab something to eat. And y'all remember that tofu I made yesterday? I packed it and brought it with me just in case I did not have any protein options at the restaurant. All right, so now we're at like this food truck park. They have so many food trucks. I'm sure they are bound to have something vegan. This place, they're closed. However, they have a vegan ceviche. So Brandon and I are about to get coffee and doing what we do best um, from this little spot. Y'all, these roosters are following us around. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Y'all, we really got parked at our seats. Twice. Twice. Not once, but twice. We started over there. Now we over here. And they parked us at our seats. I went with the veggie plate. to a luau get Brandon in his luau outfit but we're about to head out I'm so excited I don't think I've ever been to a luau before and they also have vegan options so of course I'll keep y'all posted the girls and then the guys what to do with baby what to do baby <laughs> Now, just about every restaurant you're gonna go to in Hawaii, they're gonna serve what's called taro, which is a starchy vegetable that is an integral part in the Hawaiian diet. Now, it doesn't have much of a flavor unless you spruce it up by adding various seasonings and spices and all that good stuff, but um, it is nutritious for you. And in the Hawaiian culture, it is also believed to be very spiritual and have healing properties as well. Road to Hana, y'all. Road to Hana! <laughs> y'all, this drive was absolutely beautiful, but also a little scary. 
you'll catch sight of the acres and acres of cultivated fields. The sugarcane business has now come to an end on the tropical fruits and most places will offer. We wind our way in and out of ravines and gulches. Now we came to the black sand beach. Oh, this is so pretty. So, so pretty. And to keep the beach from getting like super packed, you do have to make reservations. So luckily my friend Taylor did that for us and yeah. So we're trying to find, what is it that we're trying to find? We're trying to find the Venus pools. Venus pools. And we're so confused, uh, but we did find this trail. But instead of us like walking down this trail, we have some photographers over here who have a drone. So we're gonna put the drone up to see if we can follow the trail and I guess at least find the pools. Now people are jumping from this cliff into the water. Now we're going on a hike. So what up, David? We hiking. Already tired, but we're doing this. Oh wow. Excuse me. We made it to the bamboo. The rainbow. Oh my gosh. It looks so pretty. All right, we are finishing the hike. This morning, Brandon and I decided to wake up, grab breakfast. Well, it was kind of late for breakfast, but I got lunch, he got breakfast, and we decided to enjoy that by the beach and just vibe out. Some mango sticky rice. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like I have a white cast from my sunscreen. But this mango sticky rice is so good. Into the Paya area. Um, just to kind of like hang out a little bit. It's pretty <laughs> it's pretty busy over here. They have like a lot of shops and restaurants, so that's what we're doing. And of course I had to get some seaweed. So about to snack on this. While we're at the beach, y'all, it started to rain so bad. And it was, I feel like it was super clear that we were tourists because as soon as it rained, like we grabbed our stuff and ran. However, everybody else just like chilled because they knew it was gonna stop in like 30 seconds. And after we left the beach, we went to see the sea turtles, y'all. It was so cool. They were just so cute and huge, like huge. They are tall ships and small ships, and sips that ships. <laughs> okay, we're going. We're going to get that out. <laughs> we might keep it. We might keep it. Okay. They are tall ships and small ships, and ships that sail the sea. But the best ships are friendships, and may they always be. <laughs> Come on, make it fun. Sinead, come on. I don't have anything to say. No. Uh, you... I don't have anything to say. <laughs> 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 you got to go out. You got to go out. You got to go out. Three, three, ten, ten, ten. Don't have me quit. Don't have me quit.
good morning. So we are on a boat. We on a boat, and we're about to eat breakfast. And I made myself some vegan bacon. <laughs> if I didn't do anything else on this trip, I stayed ready okay i knew that there are chances that i wouldn't have like a vegan protein to eat with my meals so i bought some of that from the grocery store and cooked it every morning before we left just in case i was fully prepared to make a sandwich i brought everything i needed to make a sandwich but the boat ride actually had vegan burgers for those of us who didn't eat meat. That was so awesome. So we just got back from the boat ride, but one of my friends on the trip picked me up this vegan Caesar salad from AA Root. Y'all, I am so excited to dig in because I love Caesar salads. Okay, and I also grabbed this vegan turkey slices. I'm just gonna chop them up and add it to my salad. And I happen to be the only vegan on this trip, but when I tell y'all, everybody was so accommodating, open, when it came to trying different restaurants or making sure that one of the restaurants had something for me, it was, it was great. So this night we headed over to the Bonnie and Tree at the Ritz Carlton. Now this place was absolutely delicious and they had a completely separate menu that was 100% vegan and everything was amazing. Now they call this vegan tartare, but y'all, it was just mushrooms that were seasoned very well. <laughs> but it was really good. It was really good. Mm. My main course was curry veggies over rice. Immediately after the beach, we all ran to grab food. Brandon and I found this place that has arepas, arepas. I think I had to roll my art and I think I did well, but they had a plant-based one confirmed it was vegan as well. So we got to enjoy that and some mint mango lemonade, amazing. Now, we've been here for seven days and now we're on day eight and our flight actually leaves at 10 tonight. So some of our friends, we dropped them off at the beach, but I had to squeeze in like one last vegan meal. So we decided to go over to a restaurant called Sprout, which was in the Wadleya area and it was so, so good.
So all of the clusters are also vegan. And then they have this vegan mousse right here. And then fudge. Oh wow. And then even the pineapple, there's pineapples underneath and on top. Uh-huh. Our farewell in Hawaii. Act like you've been here before. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for our farewell happy hour. Y'all, all of our flights left around 10 p.m. So we just went to this super cute restaurant, grabbed some drinks, bite to eat, and then we headed out. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week.